Hey guys, good morning. It's another day, it's another vlog. I'm not gonna lie, it's 3.30 p.m. right now. I am starting today's vlog so freaking late. I haven't even ate lunch yet. Today's just been a super busy morning. So I am working on my FabFitFun partnership. I got my box last week, literally. I'm so excited that I get to work with them because I've always wanted one. I kind of just have the box laid out really nicely and I'm kind of just reading through all my requirements just to double check that I have everything correct. I don't know why there's always a little bit of friction when it comes to me making my Instagram stories. I just hate making stories because I hate listening to myself. But Matt did help me take some photos this morning and it was so windy and so cold outside But we got one decent shot. I didn't love how all the photos turned out But I do think this one turned out pretty cute So I believe this is the photo we're gonna be using and then I took a photo That's kind of like an overview of everything that I got in my box. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this uh, We're gonna make lunch and we're gonna address some shit that's happening on the internet with myself Hey guys, I just finished making my Indomie. I love this shit, it's so good. Literally maybe like a 65 cent meal. It's so inexpensive. I just put like crispy onions in there and I poached egg. It's 4.30, uh, Matt and I, I don't know what we're doing later tonight. I think it's my turn to figure out dinner plans and I kind of just want to make pizza tonight. But I think we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. For all of you guys who are in Texas right now, I hope you guys are staying safe and warm. I cannot believe what is happening to you guys because I live in Los Angeles and the wildfires definitely cause power outages, but I feel like it's only for like a couple of days and it's really warm when that happens. It's not like you can freeze to death and I would rather be like too hot than too cold. I hope you guys are staying safe and for those of you guys who are in Texas I am thinking of you guys and hoping you guys are staying well but I'm gonna eat cheers guys first bite that is literally heaven these noodles are so good you guys need to get out and go get some Indomie fried noodles I think I saw your face in the Hey guys, so I just finished my meal and it's a little bit later and that is because I have been putting this off all day. So Graham Stefan made a video on me and he's made three videos on me so far and a bunch of you guys messaged me being like, hey, Graham just made another reaction video on you. If you guys don't know who Graham is, Graham is a real estate agent who used to be based in LA. He's part of the Oppenheim group and he also is a finance guy. He loves talking about finances and I'm not gonna lie, I've learned so many things from Graham. He's an amazing dude. I've reached out to him and DM'd him in the past being like, hey, like <laughs> if you want to teach me anything about real estate or if you want to go like real estate shopping with me for a duplex or a condo, hit me up. And then that never happened because the pandemic fucking happened. I honestly thought if I reached out to him, he'd stop making videos about me because he's not super nice when he makes videos about me. So I just feel like we're not friends. Graham, I don't think we're friends anymore. Like, I don't think you ever thought we were friends, but I thought at one point we were like maybe friends and now I don't think we're friends at all. So I'm addressing the, uh, the video he made on me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what to expect in this. Yeah, he's made three videos on me so far. Uh, I am making him bang. I think he's gotten like maybe a million views off of me. A million views is pretty much about anywhere from $3,000 on the low end to about $10,000. So I have made Graham $10,000 just by making these types of videos about finance on my own channel. I would love a check. I feel like I'm making him some money and I'm okay with that because I'm going to try to make some money off of you now. To say at this point, Miss Tiffany Ma is providing us with endless bountiful content all the time i am and her videos always do really well i don't know why they're doing well because they don't even do well on my own channel so i'm really fucking happy for you graham but i'm kind of jealous at the same time 
but we're gonna skip this part. Let's get to the nitty gritty of the video because I feel like he's gonna have a lot to say about how I spend my money. I feel like I'm gonna cringe a lot in this video. In today's video, we are talking about money. I'm just throwing invisible ones because I actually don't ever have cash on hand. Yeah, I never have cash on hand except for when I have cash on hand. It's either I have no cash on hand or uh, let's see if I can find it. I hope I didn't lose this. Hold on. You know he's a millionaire when he's like, I have cash, I just don't know where my cash is. Like, super casual. Who has cash but forgets where they put their cash? Gosh, don't tell me I lost. No, no, there it is, I got it. Either I have no money. He just pulled out a fucking giant envelope, a Chase zippered bag of cash. Like, I don't know how much cash is in here, but it looks fucking thick. Or I have, uh... I don't know how I got this, anyway. He doesn't know how he got his cash, okay? Either Super relatable. No money or lots of money. Either you have no money or lots of money. I feel like a lot of people wish they had that problem. You know we're at totally different levels in our lives when he just has 15 Gs laying there and he's like, I don't know where I put this. Where did I put it? Oh shit, it's right here. I'd be like, I know exactly mentally where that fucking envelope is. As you guys know, I bought this house I'm currently living in less than 10 months ago and I spend $4,765.93 every single month on my mortgage. It's a gorgeous house. You gotta say really for the area that she bought into. I'm trying to figure out if he knows where I live. Graham, do you happen to know my address or something? How do you know which neighborhood I live in? Again, he's a real estate agent. He's probably saw the house on Zillow before I purchased it. But I added an extra $500 a month because my goal is to actually pay off my house quicker than 30 years. No, no, she shouldn't be doing what? that. Miss Tiffany Ma, what? if you're watching this right now, don't pay off your mortgage early. That's one of the easiest ways that you can leverage your money and get a good tax write-off and kind of hedge yourself against inflation. Because here's the thing, I bet right now you have a mortgage interest rate below like 3.5. My mortgage rate is actually 2.875%. But at the time I was filming this, it was at 3.5%. But what do you mean? Don't pay off your mortgage early. I feel like that's something you would do if you're financially fit. You would want to pay it off early so you don't have debt. I'm so confused. At that interest rate, it's better for you to invest your money elsewhere, make a higher return, and then pay off your mortgage as slowly as you can. Can. Not to mention, at some point, there's got to be inflation that comes up at some point. So if inflation is, let's say, 3.5% in the future, that essentially means you're borrowing money for free. Glad I watched this video. I didn't even think of it that way. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking about how I actually want to pay off my mortgage in five years. So I always thought like the earlier you pay it off, the better, because then that means the less interest you have to spend. This is so interesting to me. That's actually so smart and I never even thought of it that way and it makes a lot of sense now that he's explaining it. So I did the math on this and her net payment every single month on the house is $7,148. Now on the bright side of that, most likely, we'll call it $2,600 a month goes towards paying down her home loan. So that's basically just home equity. So really her net out-of-pocket cost after tax write-offs, after home equity, and after getting rent from her boyfriend might be more like $2,000 a month. There you go, we got math. The fact that he did that in 17 seconds is so impressive. So in total for car expenses and Uber expenses, I spent $740.53. Spending so much money. She doesn't need a Mercedes. You can do just fine with a Prius. I don't know why people are always poking fun at the- Graham, you literally have a Tesla. What are you fucking talking about? You have a Tesla. And not only that, you're comparing a Prius to a Mercedes. Like, they are two reliable cars, but they're two different- Two different types of things. Prius, I love the Prius for like 10 grand. She could buy a used Prius. That's actually the car I'm thinking about getting right now is uh, just- He doesn't even have a Prius and he's talking about Priuses. I spent $609.64 just on restaurants. Wow. She I know he's gonna hate me on this, but I love food. I love good food. He's got some pretty crazy spending. This is really starting to add up, guys. Really adding up. But I will say this was a special month because Matt's birthday was on February 4th. So we went to, hands down, the best restaurant in Los Angeles. Bestia. Yeah, oh, Bestia. You know what's good with the $3 signs? I purposely, for me, that's like a, that's a no-no. <laughs> 
What do you mean it's a no? What do you mean? I don't, I don't believe him. You're a millionaire. Do you not spend money on food? Or do you not love good food? What do you mean you don't spend money on your food, Graham? You also live in Vegas. And fucking casinos in Vegas have one of the best foods ever. And it's not cheap to eat in Vegas. So I don't understand what he's saying. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. Also, he is a YouTuber that I've seen how much money he makes. Because he's made a TikTok where he makes like maybe, I think, $100,000 just on YouTube. To views every single month you can spend a hundred dollars on a nice meal for you and your girlfriend i know you can i just know it i believe in you i know you can next thing i spend my money on is personal grooming because your girl is not as cute as she thinks she is i am not and my fake lashes cost 70 dollars a month to glue to my eyelids what 70 dollars a month to glue eyelashes <laughs> Graham, you have no idea. $70 a month for eyelash extensions is so cheap. And also, he's a dude. He has no idea how much money girls actually spend to make themselves look pretty. And I do know his girlfriend is naturally pretty, so she doesn't have to worry about any of those things. But for those of us girls who are not naturally pretty, we need fucking fake lashes glued to our eyes and it's not even to look pretty for like other men or other people it's just so that i can wake up a little bit more confident like i literally vlog every day and i wish i had eyelash extension so that i don't feel the need to have to put makeup on before i film so graham just doesn't understand what it's like to be a girl to me that just seems 70 bucks a month you may as well it's the worst photo ever so i told myself i was gonna cut back on my shopping so just on clothing i spent 223 dollars and 51 cents that's cutting back the order and something dollars you know i just went shop i filmed this in february and i was leaving to new zealand that month so i wanted to purchase a couple of things for new zealand that to me was cutting back got this nifty shirt here from h m and this is not a two dollar shirt unfortunately I, I paid retail this was like five dollars and 99 cents for this shirt but guaranteed i'm gonna get at least three to five years yeah you can spend six dollars on a t-shirt but that just means the person who took 25 minutes to make your shirt you gave them maybe 10 cents <sighs> This is a whole fucking thing I can get into, guys. I try to stay away from fast fashion as much as possible. And I used to love Forever 21 and H&M, and I think they have really cute fucking clothing. But if you guys have ever watched any documentaries on fast fashion, you know there is so much waste that goes into fast fashion. There are so many people who are dying. They're literally indentured servants getting 50 cents an hour. I want to support businesses that give their workers living wages. I spend my money on is business expenses as you guys know i run my own business youtube is my full-time job just on payroll and quickbooks which is how i do my taxes and keep my taxes in order for my accountant <laughs> she I looks spend so cute 64 dollars a month quickbooks is decent it's a good accounting software and she's probably got business expenses off the wall i also have an accountant as well Zoom, because if everything she's listed so far is not a business expense just wait until we get the business expenses for this month i had a sponsorship with mcdonald's so i spent a lot of money taking this photo i spent two i'm so proud of that photo by the way Forty-six dollars and 18 cents for this photo because i had to buy all the mcdonald's wow that's actually kind of fancy that seems like a good deal 200 bucks is a business expense to make it look like that that's like the nicest thing you said wow thanks graham it was definitely a good return on my investment because mcdonald's pays really well and i love working with mcdonald's i love getting a nice mcdouble with pickles and a mcflurry <sighs> kind of craving that right now not bad and then this month i had someone edit one of my videos for me and that was 450 dollars 450 jack you hear that 450 bucks i think i'm starting to realize that i don't think graham's ever made a video called how much money i've spent in a month but he's hating on us i want to see him make a video called how much money i spent in 2020 so that way he doesn't pick like a really good month for himself because he's hating on us but like, what about you, dude? What about you? The last thing I spent my money on this month was investment. Oh, okay, guy. Let me put the coffee over here so don't knock it over. We got the investments. Let's see. What if she's like? GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, Tesla, Nokia. <laughs> I mean, I wish I did all those stocks like two months ago, but no. I spent $9,000 on investments in stocks this month. So I use the app Robinhood for all of my stocks. It is an amazing app. It is completely free to use. And if you guys use my link down below, I'll have for you guys. Ooh, bad timing. Bad timing on that. When instead you could use Weeble. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know everyone's hating on Robin Hood right now, but I don't think they realize that Robin Hood had to stop the sales of GME, AMC, and all those things. I did, they did the shittiest job explaining why they had to stop it, but they were not the only ones that did it. I already know that Graham loves his Weeble, and I definitely need to check it out, but I still think Robin Hood is good. They just did a fucking shitty ass job explaining why they had to stop the sales. In total this month, I spent $22,402.22. Ooh, 22 grand in a month is gone. <laughs> That's a lot, but she's- That is so much, but again, a lot of those expenses were expenses that I had pre-COVID. I don't think I spent as much money as I did last year. And also on top of that, this was like a very unique month where my property taxes were higher. Um, I had to dog have a dog sitter for Zoe. I also spent extra money on Zoe that month. There was just a lot of extra expenses that happened this month that if we were to redo this, it wouldn't be that high gotta be making i bet she's gotta be making at least like 50 to eighty thousand bucks a month she has to be for this level of spending there's no way she's making twenty three thousand spending none well okay you know what actually in all fairness nine thousand of that was in the stock market so we can't really count that as spending that's cool how she actually has the breakdown of her spending and percentages i like that i just want to know she's yet to do this how much money you make even though Graham is asking for this video, I don't think I'll ever make a video called how much money I make just because I just already know the hate that's going to come from making that video of you guys thinking I'm showing off. I just feel like it's in poor taste. Also, on top of that, my monthly income changes month to month, so... It could be like a really good month that month or a really bad month and also as a youtuber that does sponsored content i don't know if you guys know this or not but i'll get paid up to two or three months after i've done a project and it's the worst thing ever so like for two months i could not get paid and then all of a sudden all of my like payments come in all together at once in december last december i think i got paid for like 10 of my projects because all these companies were like oh shit we forgot to pay her let's pay her now yeah every single month changes i thought overall good honest video she spent a lot of money she could be cutting down on a lot of stuff but on the bright side she's still I investing agree. nine thousand dollars a month into stocks at a time by the way or here the market was pretty much at its all-time low so that nine grand almost guaranteed has doubled minimum has just doubled since she did this good on her i hope she's been investing consistently every single month honestly overall he was a lot nicer than i was expecting because he's been pretty brutal in some of my past videos for him being a millionaire I don't understand if he actually truly lives the way he says he does he doesn't go to any restaurants that has more than like two dollar signs I just I have a hard time believing that and maybe he's honest and maybe he doesn't is he really practicing what he's preaching because I've definitely seen videos maybe they're, they're clickbait I haven't watched them where he says he gave his girlfriend a hundred thousand dollars so like I don't know for sure if I believe Believe that i do think he has amazing financial advice i've learned a lot i now know that i don't need to pay my mortgage early and actually that's something that i'm really glad he said matt and i are gonna go head out to the grocery store and get some trader joe's and make some food for ourselves later tonight well i'm trying to get my thumbnail oh i know get your thumbnail not if you're gonna make fun of me nah, go. guys matt's making fun of my thumbnail taking not at all Let's hope Trader Joe's has food. I have found the biggest white onion ever. Oh my god, look at how cute these freaking tomatoes are. They're so little. They're called teeny tiny tomatoes. All right, tonight, guys, we are making some steak. Oh my god, guys, I learned a TikTok hack. So you're supposed to put a wet paper towel. So it doesn't move. No, 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 so the onion acid goes straight towards the water. It's attracted to water, which is why it goes up your nose and eyeballs. Mm -hmm. So there was a TikTok hack that's been proven correct. If you lay a wet paper towel underneath your onion and you cut your onion on top of it, the acids will go straight towards the paper towel. So let me try to find a paper towel. All right, we got a wet paper towel. Hell yeah. Nothing so far. I smell the like onioniness of it, but I have not experienced it in my eyeballs yet. I don't experience anything. Wow, that actually worked. Onions are done. I feel like Rosanna Pensino when I do this while cooking. Woo.
She's a chef. Y'all, if you guys don't wife me up, I will wife myself up. I just made the prettiest Excuse steak. Me? Are you gonna wife me up? Are you worthy of wiping up? Wife up? Oh, I made the prettiest steaks ever. It's definitely rare, not gonna lie, but I tasted it. Tastes amazing. Matt was okay with the rare. Normally we like it medium rare. It's definitely more on the rare side, but I think it tastes beautiful and I don't want to ruin it. But next time we can cook it a little bit longer. But I made some onions with sweet potatoes, some flank steak, and jasmine rice. Ready to eat now. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Honestly, it was kind of all over the place, I feel like, um, and not gonna lie, this beef that I have going on with Graham, I don't know how I feel about it. But with that being said, today's question of the day comes from spreading our wings. Question of the day, how do you deal with a negative and toxic friend? I think you have to realize that negative and toxic people are not gonna change. If you feel like a friend of yours is taking your energy away from you and is not giving anything to your relationship, you need to drop them. Now you can be honest with them and tell them straight up, hey, I think we just need a break as friends. There's a saying that goes that you become the three closest friends to you. And if one of your friends is negative, toxic, always down is a bummer, then that means slowly but surely you'll start becoming that type of person. And if that's not the type of person you wanna become, you gotta drop them. So yeah, hopefully that helps you a little bit. But if you guys wanna be featured and be a part of the next question of the day, make sure to leave some questions down below for me to answer. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily vlog. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.